Okay, Newton's first law was for balanced forces. Newton's second law is for unbalanced forces. So, I've written it here as uh, in words, but most often, if, you have, if you're taking this as in a physics course, all you have to write down is the equation. That's what's important. But I just want to go over this a little bit. An unbalanced force will cause an object to accelerate in the direction of the unbalanced force. This is important. If you have an unbalanced force, the object's going to accelerate. And it's going to accelerate in the direction of that unbalanced force. And we'll get to why that can be confusing in just a second. But that means Newton's second law, which is usually written this way, F net equals MA. Some sources will say F unbalanced equals MA. But either way, it's the same thing. So this is Newton's second law. It's a formula. If we look over here, we have an example of an object being pulled with eight newtons. And let's say there is two newtons of friction. So there's an unbalanced force on it. Newton's second law applies. This thing is going to accelerate, and it's going to accelerate to the right because it looks like there's more force to the right than left. So there's Newton's second law, F net equals MA. Well, what are the forces? What's the net force? I add them up. A to the right, two to the left, equals mass times acceleration. So when you get eight minus two is six, equals three A. A equals two meters per second squared to the right. So on the whole, it's basically easy to use. Now we get to the confusing part. Let's say an object like this. Remember when I said in Newton's first law, there's a trick. And the trick was, uh, the forces are balanced, you've got at rest or uniform motion. And most often our brain jumps immediately to, the object must be at rest. And we have to remind ourselves, no, it could be a uniform motion, staying at a constant speed. With Newton's second law, we look at this and we say, uh, yes, there's an unbalanced force on this object. So this object must be accelerating. And is it accelerating to the right? OK, if it's accelerating to the right, which way is it moving? Well, our brains again, Newton's second law, the trick is, our brains want to say, well, doesn't it look like it's moving to the right? That's not necessarily true. You do know the forces are unbalanced. You do know then that Newton's second law applies which means it's got to be accelerating to the right. But the object could be moving to the right or the left. If it's moving to the right and it's accelerating to the right, then it's moving this way and it's getting faster. It could be moving this way and you're applying a force this way and so it will be getting slower. This is an example of maybe my car rolled down a hill, it's rolling along the ground and I'm trying to stop it. So I'm pulling it this way, I'm accelerating it this way, but it's moving this way, it must be slowing down. So there's a little bit of a trick to Newton's second law. You know it's accelerating to the right, but you don't know which way it's moving. Now most often in a question, you will be told it's moving to the right or it's moving to the left, and that'll clear up that problem. But if not, you can't assume it's moving to the right, and you can't assume it's moving to the left. Okay, so let's look a little bit deeper into Newton's laws.